Hello and welcome back. I'd like to talk a little bit about blaming emotions. And I'm going to start with an easy emotion that many people blame, and that is anger. I can't tell you how many times I have heard in the news, oh, this person did that because they're angry. The angry mob did this. The angry person did violence. The angry person pulled the gun. The angry person hit. When they talk of road rage, they usually say, oh, it's road rage and this angry person did this. I will tell you, they didn't do it because they're angry. They did it because they lacked skills to manage that anger. I would say everybody gets angry driving sometime. I know I do. And as we're driving and get pissed off or angry, we don't get to become violent because we know through our beliefs, our values, our experiences, our relationships, many different reasons, we know using violence to express our anger is hurtful, inappropriate, disrespectful, not even empowering for ourselves. However, a lot of people don't have the skills. In fact, many people oftentimes will blame their emotions for the reason they did something. And in blaming their emotions, several things happen. One, they don't need to do anything else. Oh, I did it because I was angry. Don't have to take any responsibility or ownership or think about what the consequences are. It was anger. Two, when they do that, the other person has to deal with someone who's being emotional and really not listening or connecting. Oh, I can't really talk to them because they're angry right now. I have to walk around eggshells because they're angry because they can't communicate. Someone who blames their emotions doesn't realize how much that limits and inhibits their own ability to connect to others as well as to feel safe and comfortable just being themselves. When you say it's okay to be angry, then you start looking at what is really driving that. Imagine a, a scenario where a little kid hits someone and you say, don't be angry. Stop hitting and throwing stuff. What do you talk about after that? They should be angry. Now it's not going to stop. Instead, if you said, you know what? It's okay to be angry. You're angry and that's okay. But expressing it by throwing and hitting someone is not okay. Where did that anger come from? What might be a better way to express your anger? When you come from that perspective, all of a sudden you're looking at what are the skills you can use? What are the beliefs that made you feel that way? Your beliefs, your values, your experiences, your history, your memories, your relationships, your goals. So many things impact how you express your emotions. We oftentimes don't even think about it because we started learning these things when we were babies. We are born emotional, and emotions are very intertwined in how we think and act out. But emotions don't tell us what to do. They give us power, and in that power we think, how are we going to express that? And sometimes it's a subconscious process because we've done it so many times. Sometimes we don't even realize our own habits and beliefs and values until we see them in someone else. And then we start saying, why are they doing that? That's stupid. Except we don't see it in ourselves because we blame emotions. And who do you think is better at blaming emotions than saying, oh, that's an excuse for their behavior? Men or women? And here I would say, then more often than not, I hear men say, oh, I did it because I was angry. And that's an okay thing. Whereas if a woman said, I did it because I was angry, you're like, oh, she needs to get some skills. She can't do that. Women oftentimes have to learn skills to manage their emotions and sometimes not only manage their own, but the men they're with. Because the men haven't learned the skills to manage their own emotions. And this is where, that's one of the curses of when we blame emotions. We stop developing who we are, how we live, 
choices we make, skills we develop. In some respects, I think of it as pee, like peeing, because when someone pees, if you blame it on just peeing, you'd never develop the skills, but everybody develops skills when it comes to peeing. You don't want to be peeing in your pants. There are people who are less skillful, but overall, we really don't focus on peeing. We focus on how to develop the skills and manage our bodies. When it comes to emotions, a lot of times we don't even try to manage that. We just blame it. Oh, oh I was angry. I was sad. I was scared. I couldn't do that because I was scared. And if you say, it's okay to be scared, how can you manage that better? And how can you use that to get where you want to be? And that's one of the challenges. When we stop blaming emotions, there's a whole new world that opens up. An awesome, amazing world where you can interact and conflict changes because it's not about being angry. It's okay to be angry. It's about how to express it and defend it more skillfully. I look forward to talking more about the scales and emotions in a future video. Thank you for listening. I'm glad you're here.